Okay, well while I have the camera set up, I'm gonna unbox this Almax um, uh, disc detainer lock. It was one of the last locks I haven't fiddled with in the Bosnian Bell traveling lock um, box. So I'll just take it out and do a superficial examination of it and then see if I can figure out how to open it. Um, just looking at this, I've had it sitting on my table um, for a couple days now, and so I've sort of stared at the um, at the packaging. And um, one thing I noticed is that right there in the corner, it says Abloy Key or Leve Tipo Alloy. I can't read Spanish or Italian or whatever that is. Um, I think it's I think it's Spanish, um, but I thought that was kind of interesting um, because they're using a trade name for a lock that is clearly not made by Asa Abloy um, and which is uh, made in China, and I'm pretty sure Abloy doesn't make their locks in China. Um, oh, that's interesting. This is already disassembling itself. But I'm just going to um, hopefully use this cool... Um, tool to open this up if I can. Um, it's supposed to be, make this safer. Um, safer for me, maybe not be as safe for the tool. Anyhow, as usual, the case is harder to open. Now, I don't know about you, but that doesn't look like an alloy key to me. Um, I've got a number of Abloy locks and none of them has a key that looks like that. Quite um, bidding as zoom, zoom, focus. That's pretty good. Okay. Bidding is moderate. Has actually more bits than a lot of these Chinese locks do. And there's the um, there's the keyway. Okay. Um, now this has all of the hallmarks of one of the locks that of the locks that Bill was um, eviscerating on his uh, series of um, Bill brutalizes the Chinese um, disc detainer locks. Um, and I assume that if I were to take a, um, my screwdriver and, uh, or a different screwdriver and stick it in there that I could very likely get that out, but I'm not going to do that because it's not my lock and, um, uh, someone else might like to do that. So, um, but what I will do is just see if I can operate it and I don't know if you can hear that, but that's pretty crunchy in there. <laughs> um, you can pretty crunchy and I would say pretty lousy tolerances um, and it opens okay and um, well, you can see but it does have a uh, focus zoom focus well maybe you can see it's hard to tell on the LCD screen but there is a ball there, and we have to assume that there's another ball on the other side. Cutouts are not too bad. Um, does appear to be um, a stainless steel um, body of some kind. No, that's steel. That's steel, so not stainless, it's just regular steel. Um, and we can do a, a quick test somewhere out of the way. Now, that's a pair of tweezers. This is not even particularly hard metal. And that is scratching a living bejesus out of that body. You can see my handiwork there. I'll make a few more marks just so you can see. Okay, these are just tweezers. Um, which I may be ruining, but I'm making some decent gouges in there. So if tweezers can do it, a hacksaw is going to eviscerate that and just the body of the lock in moments. Um, let's test the shackle. 
again with the tweezers um, and um, it doesn't look like much but I think the chrome is coming off and um, I'm gouging the metal a little bit but not too badly um, my handy dandy carbide should cut this a little better but um, I'd say that's that's a decently hardened shackle. That's not too bad. Um, so that that might be legit. Um, I'm not going to bust out a hacksaw and mess it up further. Anyway, so there's that. A Hermax or Almax, if you're French. I don't know how the hell you pronounce it in Spanish, but um, it's a Charlie Hotel Romeo Dash Six Zero Alpha lock just attainer. Um, I can tell by just the feel. I mean, it sometimes doesn't even want to, if you take it out, it doesn't even want to open. But, um, so that is steel there. Let's just test that. This is the thing that's protecting the lock core. And that is, you can hopefully see my handiwork again. You can see the scratch that the tweezers made in there. So that's not hardened steel. So, while I'm blabbling on about this lock, you've got a very nice looking, you know, nicely machined, smooth and everything lock <clears throat> with a, what I would say is probably a pretty decent shackle for this grade of lock. But you've got a body that is soft steel and you've got the thing that is protecting your core is made out of a soft steel. Um, and I think I can even see the circlip <laughs> or the little retaining spring that holds this thing in. So I'm certain it's one of those ones like Bill had and I'll give someone else the, the pleasure of uh, destroying it. Um, so looks can be deceiving. Um, kind of a neat lock, but um, I wouldn't say it's very high security. So and uh, it's definitely not an abloy, um, despite what they say. So, there you go. Hermex lock opened, unboxed. I'm going to go fiddle with it and see if I can open it with uh, my very poor um, distatainer opening skills. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Pardon the horrible camera work. Look at the beautiful San Jose, California sunshine. And, um, have fun um, and keep it legal. Cheers. Thanks for watching.